because he got to take care of the baby. But the only thing he's taking care of is making new victims. Who watching Papa Bear? I thought that's why he was here. Speaking of missing children, Tasha K, where are your kids? Because word on the street is, you ain't got time to raise children. We already know that girl is Sheck, baby. You ain't had that child in quite some time. And you sent little Teddy to Africa with your husband, Pete. What? You a married woman and you ain't got time to raise your kids? But you want to talk about mine all day, huh? That boy is under 10 years old being raised by Africans that you don't really know. For all you know, that little boy is playing in a pile of monkey right now. You don't know. Wrestling with rhinos shit, you don't know. Where your kids? You busy running around trying to blackmail Kevin Hart for cheating on his wife when we all know he likes Maybe you would have got that 250 if you would have told the truth. But you want to hold him to the fire over some shit? No, that ain't real. His guy, mail order Bangkok bride. While he's looking so safe, laying in the rock's arms, being cradled like a baby. You mean? Okay. Um, you you want to expose that he cheated on his wife with a man that would have sold. I get no fuck about no fake. Tell us the real. You supposed to be Tasha K. You supposed to have all the, the wine. And the wine and the wine. Tell him he's a f***ing bitch. Hold on. So, so uh, I'ma need to smoke. Yeah. I gotta take my meds. Yeah, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I, I gotta ask you, Jag, real quick. 33% THC. That's oh, yeah. my that's my medicine. Uh, 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 we, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a little break. Oh, but hold on, wait, wait, real quick, real quick. I have to ask because you mentioned sex workers. Yeah. And that word is getting thrown around a lot lately. And um, we see that 50 Cent is going at Diddy because his baby mother, I believe Daphne, uh, is uh-huh. listed in a lawsuit as a sex worker for Diddy. She a hook a Diddy bop. Oh, man. She was a Diddy bop first. He just didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, all the circles you that must small. You must feel stupid as sh- He sent this right to you. <sighs> Hmm. Are, are oh, she the... didn't send the herpes. He ain't bringing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that didn't come with. That would explain why you would be a little salty, though. You know, maybe you'd be posting on them outbreak days. I don't know. Allegedly, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but the post was funny. As I've been reposting. Fitty been on a tear. Fitty been on a tear. You yeah. know. He has reason. He has Diaper reason. rash will make cranky. <laughs> Y'all already know there ain't no rest for the wicked, and Jay-Z is allegedly feeling that heat right now over this old but wild story about his mistress Kathy White resurfacing. Let me break it down for you. This whole mess started brewing back in 2010 when Kathy, who her friends called Corey, was spotted kicking it in Vegas with Jay and Diddy at a boxing match. Bay was nowhere to be seen, but her man was out here buying Corey $25,000 Louis shoes and taking her gambling. Red flag. You know, Beyonce. And... I say that, you know, women do have a that country album and any of you that buy that she a stupid as shit. You don't give no trap cr- music with God a holster and a f hey. But she remade Jolie. Yeah, be- I'ma tell you the song she should have remade. It's a hit. It would have done great for her. She should have tried it on. Tammy wind that. Classic. Stand by your man. Don't act like you don't know that. 
to remake that. Stand by that. That's a real country hit. Jolene, nice. But it has a ring to it. Stand by your man. Yeah. And whoop you. And disrespect you with other like Kathy Coriana White. Mm. All right, well, let's do it like this. actually carrying his baby while you was faking it. Why your husband don't want to put his seed inside of you and put it in everybody else? <laughs> Kathy White's life was taken unfairly. She actually screaming. And the Carters are responsible. But one of them is just a little more responsible than the other. Question is, did Sean Carter delete his mistress, his pregnant, his pregnant mistress? Because his wife was jealous? Or could it be possible that maybe his wife's temper is just a little worse than most people think? And maybe he just had to clean it up to protect the brand, see? I mean, I'm just speculating. So if y'all don't know who this is, this is Kathy White, the alleged mistress of Jay-Z. Kathy White is no longer here with us on Earth, and they're saying that Jay-Z has something to do with it. Back in 2011, Kathy was spotted in Vegas with Jay-Z, Diddy, and some other people, but Beyonce was nowhere around, and they were in a relationship at the time. Um... They were there in Vegas to see the Floyd Mayweather fight. Well, a big tabloid by the name of Hollywood Street Kings had got in touch with Kathy because Jackie Jasper, who ran um, Hollywood Street Kings, where you can't find nothing about him on the internet anymore, but um, asked a lot of questions about Jay-Z and Kathy's um, entanglement. So, um... Kathy didn't give him a lot. This gave him a little bit. But she called Jay-Z and told Jay-Z that Jackie Jasper had um, reached out to her. So she also threatened Jay-Z and told Jay-Z, well, if you don't give me said amount of money, I'm going to tell the world that we are messing around and I'm going to announce it. Then Jay-Z could not have this because Beyonce was pregnant with Blue Ivy at the time. And they're saying that Beyonce knew about her and was acting real crazy and out here wilding out <laughs> because she knew about the mistress. Well, fast forward a few weeks, Kathy was at home and an ambulance was called to her apartment in New York for her and they took her to the hospital where she was pronounced DOA and the cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Now, y'all know Tasha K. Tosh K just talked about this and apparently um, Kathy White and Claudia Jordan were close friends even though Kat, um, Claudia says they weren't but who is to say that they were because Kathy is not no longer here to tell her side of the story and Claudia did not defend this woman or say anything um, to clear this woman's name or talk about her death or nothing all claudia was concerned about is keep cleaning up the fact that she don't know where the narrative came from that she's a home worker and that she messes with mary mead which that's what allegedly her and kathy was doing they were dating um high profile celebrities and it was um allegedly that kathy said she don't date anybody that doesn't have 50 million dollars or more so what do y'all think about this story chime down in in the comments and tell me what y'all think about kathy white if y'all go on the internet and try to find anything about Kathy White, y'all are going to find two articles. One of her death, two of the second um, article is the 
the alleged mistress of Jay-Z. It's like they cleaned the internet of her. You may see a couple pictures of her out partying. Um, the girl Jill Marie from um, Girlfriends, I seen a picture of them together out. Um, I also seen a few pictures of her and Claudia Jordan. It's Claudia saying that they've been friends. I guess they just was um, paper chasing mates. People are interested in you, in you. You're a big star. They are, and I'm, they're interested in a lot of things. A lot of things that don't matter or shouldn't. First thing I saw, you know, was her beauty and how beautiful she was. And then I listened to her music and I loved her music. She's incredibly talented. I think she's what every female artist should strive to be or strive to be. What really sent this story into overdrive though was when Corey's friend Claudia Jordan put it all out there years later. Sis dropped a blind item heavily implying that Jay had Corey straight up unalive just to get her out of the picture. The permanent A-lister was Jay and the dead friend was Kathy. Now here's where it gets even crazier. Allegedly, right before Corey passed away, she got a call from one of them messy tabloids sniffing around about her and Jay's affair. That's when she decided to shoot a warning shot to Hova that she was going public and wanted a payout to keep quiet. Then, not even 48 hours after Bay announced she was prego with Blue Ivy, Corey suddenly kicked the bucket under real suspect circumstances. The official cause of death was listed as a brain aneurysm. But come on now, we all know that was Cap. Just days after Jay-Z and Beyonce had announced that they were pregnant, Kathy White would no longer be alive. There are conflicting reports on the state in which Kathy White was found on that very tragic day. Some sources say she was found unresponsive in her New York apartment, while other sources say that there was a 911 call that came from Kathy's apartment. And when paramedics arrived, they took Kathy White to the hospital because she was extremely ill and then was later pronounced unalive in the hospital. Kathy White's autopsy and toxicology were never released to the public, but ultimately the manner in which Kathy passed was ruled to have been caused by a brain aneurysm. It was also heavily speculated that Kathy White was pregnant with Jay-Z's child at the time of her passing, but with the autopsy never being released, it's not possible for us to confirm that information. 3.30 in the morning, and I was feeling really nauseous, and I just had a feeling last week that something was going on. So I had Melissa go and give me some pregnancy testing. I found out that I am with the child. I don't know what God is trying to prepare me for. Because I know everything in my life is for a reason. But wow, <laughs> really, this is crazy. <laughs> Let me see what happens in the next chapter of my life because I have so much going on. According to an NYPD detective at the time, Corey's cause of death was uncertain and they had to do a full autopsy and toxicology report to get to the bottom of it. Somehow though, those results never saw the light of day and it just got swept under the rug as an aneurysm. Convenient, right? John Carter is worse. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Lining up people he calls friends and step into the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. But here's the kicker. Allegedly, Beyonce was in on the whole unaliving too. The reason? Corey was also pregnant with Jay's baby around the same time Bay announced her own pregnancy with Blue Ivy. Some say the reason Bay's pregnancy was so rushed and over the top was to get ahead of Corey potentially spilling all the tea about Jay's side baby mama drama in a tell-all. A twisted publicity stunt to maintain that perfect image, if you ask me. And not forgetting the rumors of Blue Ivy being a surrogate baby of Corey. My For You page is so messy. And if you're seeing this, yours is too. So anyways, listen to the story about Beyonce and Jay-Z. Beyonce and Jay-Z are married, right? And they have a bunch of kids together. Everyone knows Blue Ivy. She's the 
couple's first child together. And you see this lady right here? That's Kathy White. She was allegedly Jay-Z's mistress for like a really, really long time. But anyways, right around the time that Beyonce got pregnant and announced her pregnancy with Blue, a bunch of news came out that Jay-Z was, of course, messing with Kathy. And I believe the song, people are now saying that the song of Beyonce, Ring the Alarm, is actually about Kathy. Anyways, so... Beyonce supposedly called Kathy and was like, hey, don't mess with my man. And right now, as you know, Cowboy Carter was just released and Beyonce has a song on there called Daughter. And if you look at the lyrics, they're a little sketchy and people immediately notice it and were like, wait, what is this song about? Of course, pause to read. And this is the second part, pause to read. So you guys remember this little debacle that Beyonce had a while ago when she was pregnant with Blue and she was on an interview and she bent over and her baby bump, her baby bump basically like collapsed. People were like, we understand Beyonce's having a baby, but maybe she's not carrying the baby. Because in celebrity world, that's normal. You know, surrogacy is definitely a thing. But now, ever since Cowboy Carter came out, a bunch of drama has been stirred up all over again. Now everyone thinks that Kathy White is Blue Ivy's actual mom because of the resemblance. But get this part. You ready for this? Kathy passed away on the same year that Blue was born. A relatively healthy 28-year-old Kathy passed away in her apartment of an aneurysm. So a lot of people came out with theories saying like, oh, it was Jay-Z, he just wanted to get rid of her and then they kept the baby and then they raised the baby as their own or whatever. But then you had the little feud between Jay-Z and Kanye and Kanye came out and said that he, Jay-Z, got of his mistress because it was a problem with Beyonce. And now with the release of Cowboy Carter, this has kind of stirred everything all up again and people are breaking down the timeline. So supposedly when you line up Kathy's death, it would have put Blue Ivy as like a six month old if you were like gestationally pregnant. So a lot of people believe that she was taken out and then they took Blue Ivy and raised her as their own and Beyonce walked around a few months after she announced that she was pregnant with Blue and that Blue is not her daughter. Of course, all of this is allegedly, please don't sue me. But the reason that this is all being like stretched out all over again is because of the entire P. Diddy thing. Now people are saying in order for P. Diddy to get kind of out of his situation, he might, you know, snitch on Jay-Z, of course, allegedly. So I'm gonna wait for updates on this. My For You page is so messy. And if you're seeing this, yours is too. So anyways, listen to the story about Beyonce and Jay-Z. Beyonce and Jay-Z are married, right? And they have a bunch of kids together. Everyone knows Blue Ivy. She's the couple's first child together. And you see this lady right here? That's Kathy White. She was allegedly Jay-Z's mistress for like a really, really long time. Well, anyways, right around the time that Beyonce got pregnant and announced her pregnancy with Blue, a bunch of news came out that Jay-Z was, of course, messing with Kathy. And I believe the song, people are now saying that the song of Beyonce, Ring the Alarm, is actually about Kathy. And anyways, so... Beyonce supposedly called Kathy and was like, hey, don't mess with my man. And right now, as you know, Cowboy Carter was just released and Beyonce has a song on there called Daughter. And if you look at the lyrics, they're a little sketchy and people immediately notice it and were like, wait, what is this song about? Of course, pause to read. And this is the second part, pause to read. So you guys remember this little debacle that Beyonce had a while ago when she was pregnant with Blue and she was on an interview and she bent over and her baby bump, her baby bump basically like collapsed. People were like, we understand Beyonce's having a baby, but maybe she's not carrying the baby. Because in celebrity world, that's normal. You know, surrogacy is definitely a thing. But now, ever since Cowboy Carter came out, a bunch of drama has been stirred up all over again. Now, everyone thinks that Kathy White is Blue Ivy's actual mom because of the resemblance. But get this part. You ready for this? Kathy passed away on the same year that Blue was born. A relatively healthy 28-year-old Kathy passed away in her apartment of an aneurysm. So a lot of people came out with theories saying like, oh, it was Jay-Z, he just wanted to get rid of her and then they kept the baby and then they raised the baby as their own or whatever. But then you had the little feud between Jay-Z and Kanye and Kanye came out and said that he, Jay-Z, got of his mistress because it was a problem with Beyonce. And now with the release of Cowboy Carter, this has kind of stirred everything all up again and people are breaking down the timeline. So supposedly when you line up Kathy's death, it would have put Blue Ivy as like a six month old if you were like gestationally pregnant. So a lot of people believe that she was taken out and then they took Blue Ivy and raised her as their own and Beyonce walked around a few months after she announced that she was pregnant with Blue and 
that Blue is not her daughter. Of course, all of this is allegedly, please don't sue me. But the reason that this is all being like stretched out all over again is because of the entire P. Diddy thing. Now people are saying in order for P. Diddy to get kind of out of his situation, he might, you know, snitch on Jay-Z, of course, allegedly. So I'm gonna wait for updates on this. And of course I'll fill you in. And this is all alleged of Beyonce, please don't come for me. There are even whispers that the whole Kathy White situation is what shady Jason Lee had on Beyonce recently when he said he had some piping hot blackmail on the queen. Maybe he knew all about her alleged involvement with offing Corey. And I've done a lot, and I'm not even gonna say it here because if I did, this internet, Beyonce's good internet, would go great AZ. I'm gonna tell them why Johnny puts a beep over this part of the show, so you'll never know what it is, but I want you to see their reactions, and I'm going to do it right now. That's where I go back to like, we're friends in the game. We support each other. We we, we we help each other out. Can you imagine had I put that on Hollywood? Oh, there's one more thing. Beat this, Johnny. Woo! So that in itself, I think Beyonce could have gave him, you know what I mean? Like there should be a little love there. She doesn't know. Beyonce doesn't know. Yeah, I don't think Beyonce, they're not gonna share that with that knows. I got the receipts, I still have the receipts. Oh connected i could get the message to beyonce she needs to know and i think people like her publicists who i love and i'm just being critical that's just what i do you know daddy that we're trying to book kelly Rowland right now now if i don't get kelly Rowland because i say this about then 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 it's gonna be a problem then i'm putting out receipts the receipts i just told you about then i'll put those out buyers that will come on there I'm telling you right now, I'm not playing this industry game. At the end of the day, whether you buy into all the conspiracy theories or not, one thing is clear. There's been a whole lot of scrubbing going on to keep this story buried. Blog posts get deleted, videos get removed. It's like they're doing everything possible to keep Kathy White's name out of the spotlight. Whether they'll finally get exposed for the alleged shady dealings, only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, if these rumors are true, that's just the start of what they deserve for unaliving an innocent woman carrying a child.